Hey there, my name is Sully Clark and I'm a partner engineer here at Sigma. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of a demo that we've built using Sigma to interact with Snowflake semantic layer. I'll start off by showing the semantic view that I build in Snowflake. Then I'll move into Sigma and show how we're actually connecting to Snowflake. Then I'll talk about a few ways that can be used downstream for the business. So in Snowflake here, I'm in my account called CXA with a couple numbers after it. I'm using this demand role. I've created a semantic view called plug semantic view which is using some point of sales transaction data, as well as a couple dimension tools. We've got store, cover product, and one more fact table for sales. I've established some relationships between these tables, as well as some dimensions, and ultimately some metrics, things that users might care about, like revenue, cogs, profit, etc. In Snowflake, the way that I would see this is to run a SQL statement that looks something like this against it. But in Sigma, we'll be able to do this in that spreadsheet interface that users have come to know and love. Moving into Sigma, the way that we connect to Snowflake is with a live service account. So there's no intermediate caching layer between Sigma and Snowflake. Everything that we do is going to be directly connected live against the warehouse. So I've defined this connection to my CXA account using the dem end role, just as I did before. And what that means is we're actually able to inherit all of the access that this role has. So there are a couple of different databases that I have access to, but really the one that I care most about is where did this semantic view, just like so. In Sigma, users can access semantic views just like they would access the tables in the warehouse through an intuitive spreadsheet-like interface. Your end user never needs to know whether the data is coming from a physical table or the semantic view, Sigma attracts away all complexity for you and acts as the interface to your warehouse. So from this table that is referencing the semantic view, I'm able to come in and build a chart on top of it. I can bring the day up into the x-axis, truncate this down to month. I can bring in revenue. We can do a sum of that. And like I said, we're not caching or storing any of this data in Sigma. We're actually doing new live query each time to Snowflake. Everything you see here is actually built on top of the same semantic view using the same process that I showed you a second ago with the drag and drop interface. So we've got some KPIs for gross margin, order profit, unique customers. I can change the filter for any one of these and make it interactive. We see that here, but I wanted to give my end users a little bit more interactivity and configurability in their report so they don't end up extracting data to CSV, you can build something like this. So say that instead I wanted to look at this revenue by week over the last, say, four months, and I wanted to color this by store region, but also additionally, instead of looking at revenue, I wanted to look at profit just like this. I can do that very easily and be confident that this is live on top of the semantic view and pulling all of the information from there. But it's doing it in a way that makes it very easy for the end users to accomplish what they need to. Coming over to this ad hoc tab now, what you may want to do here is present the pure tabular data to your end users. This self-service lets them build their own charts, pivot tables, or tables on top of a more curated analysis that comes from the semantic view. So again, we've covered a couple of things here. We showed off how we can connect to Snowflake using that live service connection, which lets us inherit all the permissions and security coming from Snowflake in addition to all of the data and that semantic view. But really, semantic views represent a major milestone in the evolution of the analytic stack. For the first time, core metric logic can leap exactly where it belongs, which is inside the warehouse. With Sigma and Snowflake, your organization can finally align on the same language across every metric, every tool, and every user. Thanks for watching.